Welcome to the VK Mode Cruise Critic. So today we're going to be doing a series of questions. And the question of today is, what happens when you get COVID while you're on board? I would like to know that. Let's chat about it. Welcome aboard VK Mode. It's your girl, Sean. And it's your boy, KC. Now, I know everybody wants to know what to do or what's the process behind if you were to get COVID on board. Man, I want to know. Shoot. So, you guys, first of all, let me say, it do vary by cruise line, but the general process will be the same. So, we're going to take you through each step of the process and definitely make sure you wait to the end because I want you guys to follow along with what's going on. So, the first thing that they're going to have to do is quarantine. So there's a list of things under quarantine. They're gonna lock you down. So the first thing is, if you think that you're sick, they're gonna definitely want to do a test, te to test you. Well, first thing you need to do is report it. Yes, and the reason why they're gonna test you because they wanna make sure that you don't have a false positive. So that's the reason why you're gonna have to take a test. So, after you're done taking that test, and hopefully you're negative, but if you're positive, if, if you're positive, um, what they're going to do, they're going to move you to another cabin. So, now I know a lot of you guys might think, but where? And that's been a big question. Where are they going to move you to? They're going to move you closer to medical staff so they can keep an eye on you. That's on the bottom of the ship. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, um... And they have these particular rooms that's designed just for quarantine. So Yeah, full floor area. You don't have to worry about that part of it. And what's going to happen is you're going to remain there the duration of your trip. Now, if you were to get sick before, like say in the beginning of your trip, okay, this is a little tricky part. Um, and I know some people probably haven't been honest about this because if you do, they can put you off on a on a port and you will have to find your way back home because it will be too many days for you to be on a cruise ship. Get that uh, travel insurance. But if it's near the end of the trip, more likely they're just going to move you to a different cabin that's closer to medical staff. Yeah, because um, we've heard some people that actually had some positive cases, got sick on board, and it, because it was a day... After the port that they were at, uh, they actually let them stay on board, quarantine. They actually had to move their things to the other room. So they're going to come into your room with hazmat suits and everything like that, and they're going to move you to this other room. Mind you, don't be scared, you know what I'm saying, because mind you, they're trying to contain this, so they're going to have to be containing you as well. And they're well trained to do all this stuff, you guys, but just be prepared to know that you will be moving. And you will have a personal nurse. This is going to be there to make sure and keep an eye on you. And the thing about it is they're going to continuously test you. And so you're going to have to remain. So let me say that again. You're going to have to remain put in place in that room until you either test negative. But if you stay with a positive test, you're just stuck there. So and you might not be the only one down there. So, you know, say be aware of that as well. Yeah, so prepare for room service. That's all I can say about that. The so, entire cruise. That's the first process. If if you do test positive, that's the things that's going to happen. Now, the second part of this is they definitely going to have to do some contact tracing. So you might think, well, how can the cruise, you know, figure out how to contact trace when there's so many thousands of people on there? Well, what they're going to do, they're going to first see what shore excursions that you had, if you got off of any port or anything like that, so they can see who all you've been around. And if they do, they're going to actually have to report to those ports that that uh, you had COVID or you had a COVID person get off on that so they can do their own contact tracing in that country. And something that I found that was really cool, they also are going to... So they also going to do face recognition through the surveillance camera. They can see every place that you actually been. So I always wonder why they always taking all these pictures because they wasn't putting the pictures on my key card. So, <laughs> you know, and I think that's cool. They can see everywhere you've been, everywhere you touch. So now I got to go, mm, let me think who I've been in the elevator with. You know so I had a question saying? for you, Sean. So if they find somebody that you did get in contact with, what's going to happen to them? Oh, man. So if they find somebody that you did get in contact with, well, now that person is going to have to go on isolation and they're going to have to also be tested. But, you know, the thing about that is that person, even if they may or may not have COVID, going to be isolated and stuck to their room. And sorry, but these tests, 
It's not like they're five-minute tests, like, you know, you can just pee on a stick or something and get results right back <laughs> to you. It's going to take them several hours to find out if you're really positive or negative. So even if you may not be sick, be prepared that they can just pull you because you came in contact with somebody that tested positive on, on the ship. So that's um, something you have to always keep in mind. And I'm staying away from people, man. You know, I'm not getting on the elevator with nobody I'm gonna keep my mask on because I mean, you know, I mean, it's high, highly it's really high, high likely that they go somebody's gonna you know con, you know run in contact with you. I'm like, man, I mean, you run by so many people, but you run that risk going on the cruise right now. Yes, but guess what happened? If that contact person tests positive, Casey, it's gonna be all over again. Same uh, procedure downstairs <laughs> with the rest of them. But you guys, there's no need to worry. Ever since the pandemic came out and the CDC came out with a lot of rules and policy, um, they even have extra nursing staff and team that's just there just for people that have to go into quarantine. And they do to, to take good care of you. Uh, for a few people that we do know that have uh, been positive, they have I said the, the experience was really pleasant, nice people, take care of her, careful. So one thing is, but they had insurance, you guys. So I want to know, want you to know, the insurance does a long way when it comes down to travel insurance. And look at the details of your insurance if you do get it. Yeah, so the bottom line to all this is, um, you guys, just please try to stay safe the best you can. Because if not, the cruise, will, the cruise line will try their best. Because they don't want to get fines and stuff like that. They will try their best to take care of you. And you do run the risk of getting COVID going on the ship, getting a positive. Not saying that you might get sick or stuff like that. <laughs> But you have to keep in mind, these things are going to have to happen. These are protocols. These are the ship protocols. So if you do get positive, they will be quarantining you. So I hope that you won't have to go through this process. But if you do, hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if you were there and if maybe maybe you were positive on the ship, on the ship, please leave a comment below and let us know if we, you know, maybe there was something additional that happened that we don't know about. Yeah, and one thing is, Remember, this is expected going on the ship. So we wanted to make sure you know what you're running into when you do go on the ship right now. So you guys definitely don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is your girl, Sean. And this is your boy, KC. And we're going to see you on Vacay Mode without a mask. <laughs>